Hello everyone, this is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the KiCad SI PCB footprint. Okay, the footprint uh, we already um, talked about uh, how to create a footprint in previous video. So now we need to assign the PCB footprint with our uh, schematic components. So, so let's open the software first. And so here it is the software. So you need to click the schematic. And uh, this schematic is created by previous. Uh, this is the software. Let's make it. Uh, we need a, we need the schematic created by previous uh, videos. So this is a minimal uh, MCU system. It including one uh, SMT A is a create by our self is a customized uh, MCU components. We also uh, create the PCB footprint for it. Now, let's take a look how to assign the PCB footprint with the components. Um, you can click here, Tools, Assign a Component Footprint. Or you can click here, so it's this one, to associate components and footprint. It will be uh, open the same software, okay? So we open it. So it is here. Um, this is um, this is the uh, uh, interface of the uh, uh, SI components tools, SI. PCB footprint tools interface. Okay, so you will see here this is the components which uh, associate with our schematic C1. C1 is uh, is here, C1 and C2 is here, C3 is here. And uh, so this is the components. And uh, here is all the libraries for the PCB footprint. And here is all the footprint in the libraries. Before you do anything, maybe you want to take a look at the uh, items here. So this one is uh, filter the footprint by keywords. It by default is enable or disable. And this one, um, you will take a look here. So this one is by ping account means so uh, let's say the com uh, the capacitor has two pin it will filter by two pins uh, the PCB um, footprint and this one is by library you choose uh, any library here for example it's my library and then you you click here it will show the library uh, it will show the uh, components the footprint in our library and we can disable this it will show two uh it will show two the uh it show more disable two of it mm. it will show more uh footprint in our libraries but if we filtered by keywords it will filter the one fit our components and we can associate it or we can use the default one so this one and this one is not in our library is in the default library okay and then we can reassign this one make it as the same okay 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 so uh you maybe notice the one thing when i click uh, the different components the here this will be automatically 
match the keywords here. For example, this is LED. It will match should LED in front of the list. If it, this is a capstan, it will show the capstan in front of it. And if it, this is connector, uh, you will see here this is pin connector. And if this is register, so it will pop up the register in front of the list. It's very convenient. Okay, let's uh, select the LED. The LED have 0402 package and also 0603. So um, let's make it a 0402 because uh, uh, our uh, capstan is also using the same size uh, package okay so this is um connector connector here and we can um filter by by the pin account because we only have two pin so we can fill it by pin account so you will see here so uh, there is uh less there is a less footprint in the list and it filled by this condition and also this condition so we can choose um, mm, a regular one. This is um, straight um, 2.54 millimeters. Uh, okay, it's two by it's one by two. So if you wonder uh, what the what the footprint looks like, so you will you can click here, view the selector footprint. We will see here. So this is uh, um, this is uh, footprint looks like, and we can mm, let's move it a little bit. We can select this one. You will see. So this is uh, LED. Uh, you will see positive, negative, LED, and this is uh, um, capacitor. Okay. So we setting this one. And this one we setting is like um, pin head straight. Okay, if you choose this angle one, uh, the shape will be different. But we choose this one. It's it's a regular one. Okay, double click, double double click. It will assign the footprint to the schematic components and automatically move to another one. So this is a register. You will see here this is also um pop up the register footprint in front of the list we and we also choose this one and it will go here uh, the next one is key mm, the key the key uh, in the sigmatica is looks like this so this is a key okay looks like this and we uh, choose this and we filled all of it and we will go down go down mm, we can choose one very uh standard one this one this one is a very standard um footprint or we can choose um or, or this one ah uh, so if you want to uh know uh this is this is a, a PCB footprint for the devices. But you want to know uh, what the, the action devices looks like. So if it is here, so this is a product B3, B3S and 1000. This is a actually key product name. So you can Google it in this. And uh, you will Google it and get uh, get the image like this. So this is uh, this is the actually key looks like, and you uh, even can Google the data sheet for it. So this is the data sheet. This is B three S one thousand, B three S one thousand. So this is B. Let's take a look. B three S one thousand B three S one thousand. Okay, so it the logical the logical um uh, 
sigmatic it will be like this so these two pin connect together and these two pin connect together and these two pin connect together these two pin connect together okay so this is a um, key so we associate with the um, sigmatic here associate assign it to the to the components so you will he see here there is a stma my so this is our customized so, so this is our customized uh, component we also customize the footprint but you cannot easily find it in the list and we need to do one more thing because here this is our library the footprint is inside the list and uh, uh, there is too many um, footprint in the list. We need to filter it. So we use this. And we use this option, filter it by the library. So you will see here it's showing here. So this is uh, our uh, customized STMA QFP sixteen footprint. Okay. So it looks like this, and we designed in previous video. Okay. We assign it. And this is the crystal. You will see um, the crystal cannot match anything in our customized library. So we need to remove, remove the filter option. It will show here. And uh, you can click whatever uh, the crystal according the according the uh, actually requirement, the actually uh, components which you, uh, the actually devices which we you will use in your project. Uh, usually we will use the SM, SMD uh, as crystal because this is smaller and uh, this is smaller is more convenient for the soldering. Okay, and uh, we can choose anyone and uh, like uh, okay this we choose this one as our crystal as our crystal um foot for the print so till now and um, all the components has been assigned the uh, footprint and then you can save it save so save it and uh, so we can save and close so that's it and, um, the sigmatic already be the components in the sigmatic all of it, all of the components has have, have been assigned a footprint. So next time, if you want to uh, see it again, you click it, and to open the edit to see the to see the um, assigned situations. Okay, once you uh, open the edit, it will show the uh, match the footprint components in the schematic. Okay, so that's it. This is uh, a sign PCB footprint for the schematic uh, components. And uh, I'm Michael. Uh, thank you for your watching. Thank you. See you next time.